Hey everybody, it's Scott Simcoe Spring Service. And today we're gonna to show you our heavy duty rebush kit for utility trailers. We'll break down each part for you, talk about the pros and cons. We'll show you how to remove the old parts, how to install the new heavy duty kit. So let's do it. Okay, we're gonna do a side by side comparison of all the parts that you get in the kit. So the equalizers are pretty much the same. The only difference is these are greasable and they're brass and these ones are plastic and they're not greasable. The bushings are the same shape and diameter except for these are plastic or nylon and these are brass and greasable. The bolts are pretty much the same. They're the same grade, size, shape, and length and they both have the knurling on the ends right here so they can dig into the hangers and shackles properly. Um, but this one is greasable and this one's not greasable. So these are the star of the show. I really like these shackles because you're talking about a quarter inch thick shackle versus a half an inch thick shackle. So when you have eyewear, this one's gonna hold up way better than this one here. So this is one of the best parts of the upgrade in the kit because you don't want these shackles to wear through and snap because then you're having a really bad day. Yeah, so there's your kit. Nice and heavy duty. Comes with all the fasteners, nuts, washers, shackles, bolts, and equalizers all in the kit. And this will do a tandem axle trailer. If you want to rebush a triaxle trailer, you can actually just buy two kits, and the only thing that'll be extra is two bolts. So you're gonna probably wanna know the pros and cons of this kit. So you get greasable bolts, which are great. You get brass bushings instead of plastic. You get shackles that are twice as thick, and you can do a lot higher mileage without having to replace the bushings or the shackles because the components are gonna last longer. And it's great for permanently loaded vehicles. So camper trailers, uh, construction trailers, stuff like that. Uh, the cons are this is a much more expensive kit. You're looking at like two to three times the cost of a normal kit and it must be greased at least twice a year at a minimum. However, that's not worth doing if you don't use your trailer a lot or you do low mileage. If you're doing low mileage or light loads, stick with your plastic kits. They will do you just fine. So to figure out which kit you need, you need to figure out which equalizer that you have. And if you measure your equalizer, it should be six inches center to center and two inches tall. And you will need a C71-359-00. If your equalizer is four inches tall and six inches center to center, then you need a C71-448-00. And if your equalizer is this one, which is very rare, it's two and three quarter inches tall and seven and three quarter inches center to center, then you need the C71-449-00. And everything will be in the link in the description down below. And you can purchase it online at SimcoSpring.com. Okay, we're gonna pull this thing apart. We're gonna show you exactly how we disassemble it. The first thing we had to do is jack it up and get all the weight off of it. So now that's all the weights off of it, I'm gonna spin all these nuts off and get everything free and loose first. And then we'll set our height so that we don't have any weight on it. And then we'll start pulling everything apart. We'll do the exact same thing on the other side. Yeah, those nuts usually never come off like that. They're usually stuck on there pretty good. So be patient with it. Put a little bit of heat on those nuts and uh, get them loose. Can you jack it up and down a little bit? Uh, I would say jack it up. Get this side up a little bit more. There we go. Yeah, so you want them loose like that so you don't have any weight on there. 
then you know you're in the right spot. I'm a lucky man today. I'm actually going to take an air chisel and blast this bolt out of here because the bolt's supposed to be set in the hanger and we want to punch it out of there. Never mind. <laughs> there you go. Uh, you can see the bushings getting oviled out there. So, should be replaced. So we'll do the same back here, we'll knock the bolt out. Of course the bolt's hitting on the tire. I'm gonna have to cut that one in half. blast all these old bushings out of here with the air chisel. install it. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your little brass bushings and we're going to stick them onto a 916 bolt and we're going to use them like a little cartridge so that we can install them into the springs. Because we can't get the bolt in here, nor can we grease it, we're going to put all the bolts in this direction so we can actually get on it with a grease gun.
So we're gonna hook up these ends first. And the reason why we hook them up first is because it just makes it a lot easier. And when we go to hook up the centers, I'll show you a cool little trick to make your life a lot easier. Now we're going to hook up our equalizer. I'm using the back end of a socket to tap these in to go over the grease fitting. There we go. See, I didn't even need the socket. So now we're at a stuck point where you can't get this in here. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna jack it up until it lines up and then you should be able to just slide it right in and then it's all simple. duplicate that on the other side. So before we let it down, we're gonna tighten up all the nuts. Sometimes you'll have to seat the bolts in, so what you do is you take the back of a socket and you stick it over the grease fitting and give it a hit. And then you finish it off with your ratchet. and just repeat this for all the other ends. The final step is to give it a grease and let her down.
course. Sorry about that, and my grease gun was bad. There you go guys, that's how you install a heavy duty rebush kit on a utility trailer. So if you're interested in purchasing this kit, you can check it out at SimcoeSpring.com. And if you want to see any more content like this, feel free to subscribe. Alright, have a good day and take care.